So what I do is I got these scissors. I got these long sort of aquarium scissors. So what I actually do is I put them in the little holes in the spray bar and then it opens them up and it unblocks them. And then hopefully you'll see less of those massive water jets because the aim is for all the water to come out um, of all of the jets. If it comes out of just one or two jets, it's too high pressure. But yeah, the snails keep living in here because they're nice and undisturbed. But sorry, you have to see me do this for a minute. I don't think anyone's going to die in the meantime. That would be kind of silly. But yeah, <laughs> I'm going to edit this whole bit out for YouTube. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you guys can see me filling with scissors on YouTube. I hope you're all having a good day. Like the ones at the the ones at the front don't tend to get blocked too much. Because the pressure is naturally higher. But the ones at the back get more blocked. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's mostly snails. And sometimes plants growing in them. And the thing is, murder is a solution, so this little fish here, whiskers, murders the snails. But only if they're actually in the tank. They're safe in the tube. So that's where they all end up. So occasionally I have to actually undo the tube. And remove them all manually into Whisker's mouth. You hate snails, they always take over a tank. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pros and cons. Because on the one hand, I actually find the snails quite cute. And they also do eat the algae pretty well. You do just have the problem of them overpopulating, though. Also, Whiskers keeps investigating the scissors whenever I come up and um, stab the spray bar. So I always want—I always worry that I'm accidentally going to stab Whiskers. <laughs> I think I think they would just bounce off it, to be honest. She's so large and sort of vaguely soft, I don't think you could probably effectively pierce her with scissors. Unless you were really going for it. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> They're adorable if you have just ones so we can't breed. Yeah, like, like the big snails. Yeah. Anyways, that was a bit of a diversion. So I'm going to... <laughs> I'll cut this out of the YouTube video. So, welcome. It's me, Ariza Gaming. We're back with more oxygen not included. And we are sorting out pips today. I realized that we had a bit of an issue. The issue with this acorn plan is that if the branches are all breaking off in the suspended liquids to generate acorns with the pip rustling the tree, uh, they... What was that noise? I think that's fine. Um, then they won't have enough food to eat. So we're only going to do that in one branch, and that's going to be the bottom branch. I've changed my mind on that one. So, let's get the ethanol out of here. That means I'm going to undo all of this stuff yet again. But I want to get this done today. So, ethanol. Um, that's fine. I don't think we need the mesh tiles in here. Uh, I think this means we can just start removing most of these tiles. So, let's actually do that. <laughs> I feel bad running on watching yesterday. This is like I spent the first hour just fiddling around with this crap. I'll, I'll leave the hydroponic tile here just in case I decide to do it again in future. We'll see. I would think. You've never seen this kind of design before? Yeah, I mean, I've done pit branches a few times, but I never tried the infinite acorns design. But that's more for generating acorns than actually being practical. So this one down here actually does want these. I think I didn't install that on this one. So yeah, let's remove these. And then I'll start laying these ones out normally. 
Yeah, you won't need any of these accesses anymore. And I don't think the dupes actually have that much more to do over here. So they should get this all done fairly quickly. How does it, how does it work? So basically, we're just going to stack liquids up. So there's a little bit of liquid on each of these four tiles. We're doing it via the method that GC Fungus uses. So let me find the video again. <laughs> You'll happily ship me some acorns. Nice. I wish there was a feature in Oni. I wish you could mail each other bits. That would be so fun. Right. Here's the link. Uh, Yeah. Here's their guide on pips. That's what I use. Right, so dump some ethanol here. We need four different liquids to do this with, though. And we do actually need the mesh tile because the pips need to jump back and forth. And eventually, there won't be liquid in it, but there does need to be a tile here. I'm pretty sure this actually needs to be tiled up here. Yeah, I'll have a think. And before someone mails you some pip eggs. Yes, exactly. Good job. We do already have a pip in here as a volunteer, so that's nice. Keep removing these. I'll just speed one it for now. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to rush stuff today. My brain is very fragile. So we're just going to, we're just going to relax. <laughs> How was the fish? You missed it. We uh, did the spray bar. We uh, poked some holes in the spray bar because all the snails kept blocking it because they like to hang out in there. We had a fishy moment. But I think I'll include a bit of that in the YouTube video. We'll see. Right. These are all for edibles. Uh, this is going to be fine regardless of whether it's mealwoods or pips. What else do we want to do? Uh, remove these. Yeah, here we go. Just remove buildings. <laughs> Fish breaks in the video. Yeah, because basically what I realized was... I, I don't want to have, like, five minutes of fish in front of every VOD. I want to leave, like, an interesting fish-related moment at the front of the VOD. Because I want to make sure... Actually, don't bother with these ones. I want to make sure that for people who are just joining in on YouTube, they're not just immediately bombarded with, like, fish swimming around to music. Unless something particularly interesting is happening. Because I like having it at the start of the stream because it gives people time to wander in. But it's a bit repetitive if you're like watching all the VODs and you have to constantly skip. I think. I think I think people are quite divided on that actually. When I did a poll it was like 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Ariza Gaming's Fish Moments channel. You're all out of food. Well I mean these are growing. You should be fine. Let's plant some more over here, though. We removed all the mealwoods from here. Hydrogen is accumulating. Uh, the tank is filling back up, which is good. Beds. Where am I going to put the beds? Do I just put the beds here? This loop is blocked again. So why is that loop blocked? It's just recirculating through here at the moment, which is fine. Do you ever feel awkward eating pip meat? No. No, I don't. I'm not a pip sympathizer. So I feel like... Right, let's disconnect this again. Get this circulating properly again here. Yeah, there you go. I'll do for now. Oh no, that didn't actually work. This isn't circulating at all anymore. This is just running past this. This is overfilled. By half and half, it that doesn't help either. Mm. No pip, which is delicious. <laughs> I like that pip emote, the Salford Sal one. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, none of that is working. We're just going to leave it for now. Tree's not consuming enough. I mean, no, it's supposed to recirculate normally anyways. 
I think it's just overfilled somehow. I don't know exactly how. Yeah, because it used to be draining out here. Uh, is it because this is overpressure? No. We did move everything because of uh, how this bathroom was set up. Okay, there we go. No. I think it is technically recirculating, just slightly filled up too much. I don't think it's a huge issue. I think we'll be fine. Pips, Pips have planted mealwoods everywhere. Right, look, listen here, Pips. All the seeds are going in here. All the seeds are going in here, and we're filling this with sand as well. For the water sieve. Right, so construction, priority nine these, so the pips don't escape. Uh, actually, that's... It's not the escape zone. Priority nine this stuff. Your Cory babies are growing nicely to uh, moving them around now. About five of them. Nice, nice. Yeah, you need to uproot these. Pips be wild then. <laughs> Whenever you have pips, the first thing you have to do is make a sea container. Yeah, we did have one and then we moved it. Yeah. Yeah, you can still come in here via all this stuff. That's alright. So, right, let's have a think about this. So, grooming stations need to go here. One, two, three, four. Um, I'll put that one in later. The tree is going to grow here, so we remove this. We'll fit something else over here. Not entirely sure what. And then we need the door and the tile. So I think if we put the door and the tile here, that will work. Oh yes, and the other thing we learned from GC Fungus's video, one tree is enough for eight pips. If we have, if we have, um, yeah, they consume 0. Point, they consume nine percent of the tree growth if all the branches are growing per cycle. So eight is seventy-two percent of the tree growth per cycle. You can have a couple more in here with the with the things. Oh, you can't plant them with the shipping containers there. Ah, I see. Yes, you're right. That's true. Um, I didn't really leave a spot, did I? And this needs to reach over here. Yes, I understand. Because if we try and do this... Yeah, it doesn't fit. Well, if I move the farm over one, then it's going to clash with this. I think we just lower it all down. Again. Yeah, we'll just lower it all down. It was originally raised up. We'll keep this one raised up, and then maybe we'll do something with this loader. Um, but we need to keep this one raised up. Actually, we don't need to keep it raised up. We can have it down here. No, we do need to keep it raised up because that's how the, the thing works. So I need to move that. This can go here. And then you can remove all of this stuff. I enjoy the tinkering TBH, I learned things. Yeah, also, I should have uh, definitely not removed the pipes there. Oh well. Ground, the ground is being. So we're just going to drip out of here. That's fine. I don't mind if it drips out of here. Looks like we've already had a lot of uh, brine dripping over there. Yeah, door stays here. I like how that looks. We need mesh tiles here so we can pour the liquids in to stop the pips from wandering out of this area. 
Uh, so do that out of iron ore. And we want to drop something that's not polluted water in there because I don't want it to off gas. Leave or not, if the pips plant them, they can work it out. If the dupes plant them, they have to be completely open. Yeah, that is weird. I've noticed that too. Yeah, pips can ignore certain planting rules. It's very weird. I guess they have their own set of rules that they substitute in instead. Okay, so that goes there. We'll just start growing these trees. It is warm enough here. All of that. That is going to have to move. So I think what we do is we just move this over a little bit. So cancel this. Deconstruct that. Oh, actually, we can't deconstruct that. I think we're just going to have two different loaders. I think that's what we do. This is a bit of a weird zone anyways. We'll think of something. We'll think of something. Let's get the regular pit branches working first and then we'll work on the... Um, then we'll work on the acorn machine. Do you like the pan I made with the mealwoods? I've got the three different colors of uh, planter boxes. Yeah, now you've got enough food. You plant another mealwood. Amazing. Right, plant these five, please. Obviously, you know what wallpaper is going in here. It's a sporky print. That's what we always do. This vent is going to activate in three cycles. We are producing plenty of oxygen now. Now that we have our dedicated system, that definitely hasn't broken. So base oxygen is finally good. We're pushing all the CO2 down here. We will need to skim it at some point, but I'm not overly worried. Um, airflow tiles. The dupes over here are going to get sort of suffocated out, which is not ideal. The gas isn't going to exact actually absorb that much heat, is it? Let me just put a single airflow tile here and hope for the best. Yeah, these do need fertilizing. That one can be set to edibles and stuff as well. Yeah, we still have some radiation research as well. We can do all of that stuff. We're going to put more rooms over here. Yeah, this is recirculating now. I think it just got temporarily a bit full and then the trees eventually drained it off. Um, But I think what I actually want to do for now... Stop feeding more water in. Yeah, stop feeding more water in. Actually, that's not what I want, is it? I basically just want all this water to drain from here instead of recirculating. <laughs> we just hope for the best. Yes. But I think this is what we did. I think we did something else. I mean, eventually all this blue water is going to get consumed by trees, especially now we've actually planted them. So, I, yeah, I am just going to unplug this. We'll see where it goes. Right, now we speed it up a little bit. You guys roll out of food again. Are these set to pretty nine? They are. You can actually reach them now as well, which is a bonus. Now, more drywall. Let's see. These oxy ferns aren't permanent. These ladder shafts are permanent. So we're going to do something with these. Something different for the ladder shafts.
Yeah, let's do rainbows. Do rainbows for ladder shafts. That sounds fun. Uh, so horizontal stripes, I think. Wow, look, the auto sweepers are delivering all the granite. That's funny. <laughs> you love to see it. Yeah, that can all go there. I don't overly care about these tiles anymore. I think we've got enough heat in the base in general now. Yeah, temperature is now actually looking good, which you like to see. I don't think there's a lot else we actually put in these pit branches. Because they don't need a critter feeder. We could do a critter pick up if we wanted. I don't think there's any real need for that. <laughs> Definitely don't need a fish feeder. We just put a statue in for now. We don't have any metal yet. Maybe we just leave a gap here for now. I like how it looks with a gap. Right. Um, can you actually yellow alert dig this? Because this is annoying me. Thank you. Speedy up. Find the game. Yeah, we did actually have enough acorns for this. You still need fertilizing, that's fine. And then I think we just start wrangling all the pips into this top one. So we want eight pips. So that can be set to probably nine... Pips. We'll sort out the um, other critter handling later. But for now, we'll just have some normal branches and we'll just drop all the eggs over here in this room. Uh, so let's lower the priority on these ones. So eight, seven, six, five, four. And then we'll start wrangling all the pips we can find. Yes, I know you're already in a ranch. Oh, actually, before we do this, we need to rip the liquids in here. Yes, okay. 39 this. Finish all of this stuff. Quarries are beginning to explore more of their breeding box um, and act forage actively now. And they just stayed in one corner of the box. That's nice to hear. Apparently we have 477 mealwood seeds. That's nice. Yeah, so if we cut this pump off, I'm hoping, of, yeah, eventually these trees should just eat everything. It might take a while. Yeah, that's going to take a while. We're not going to drain these tanks anytime soon doing that. They are technically draining a little bit, but not very much. I think the better solution is to just put the tank somewhere else. I could put them... Now, where don't I actually want to put anything? <laughs> this is where we're going to have the exosuits. I'm not sure exactly where we're going to put them. If it wasn't for this giant ethanol... Hmm. How much space do we have here? Ten? You know what? Here's what we do. This is very silly. We're going to put the tanks here, maybe. Because the polluted water pipe already comes up here anyways. Wait, we're actually out of metal ore? Oh, that's not good. It is being dropped off in here continuously. I mean, I guess that's all we get for keep continuously refining it all the time, but that's really not good. <laughs> Running out of metal is not something I had on the list today. Well, there's some fairly big deposits we can still grab. Let's grab little bits for now.
There's a fair bit down here as well. Yeah, we can grab that. I love how the uh, memorial has a face on it now. Running out of metal ore is a mistake. You only get to make one to colony. Yeah. I mean, there's rust. The thing is, we're not actually out of metal ore. We just need to process it faster with the rusty oxidizers. We could build more of them. It just seems a little bit short-sighted because we're, we've are we got a finite amount of salt. I mean, I guess eventually we'll find a saltwater geyser somewhere. That's what I'd like to do today, really, is... Well, A, we'll get up here, and B, we'll do the telescope. That's what I'd like to do. Right, you're all done with these mesh tiles now, right? So now we just want to pour some brine over here, probably. And in terms of what this is actually going to look like, so this is 25. So we want an extra tile here. And then doors. Yeah, that was the original plan. So that will work for these rooms. And then this room is a little bit different. Yeah, I boiled salt water in a steam room for input. Salt and desalinators are frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like desalinators, but it's not like we've got excess heat on this asteroid, is it? I don't normally use them at all, but this feels like a case where it makes sense. I've got to admit... That looks really good with the the rainbow, I think. Just washing over the, uh, the bit. I like it. I think, honestly, we're going to have the pole go up here eventually as well. I'll have a think about that one. So this one here... So let's see, that's 89... Nine, oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> so there's 89... 92... 94. So we can just put the door here. And then this room is a bit more annoying. Um, so that is going to be 88, because these two tiles aren't going to be here. Then 1, 2, 3, 4. We figure something else out. Maybe just something like this. Is that enough? I guess I'll just let them build that and see where it goes. And then this one just goes here as well. Okay, we've got a bit more metal ore now. So these liquid reservoirs, we want to make we want to remake these out of Iron ore anyways. And for now, I just want you to fill up those tanks. So yeah, we'll cut this off. Sorry, I'm umming and ahhing a lot today. Probably realize why. Hey Neo, hope you're doing well. How are you doing? Hope you've had more sleep than I have. In fact, let me shut the blind. So I have some exciting news. It's 11 days until I get married. <laughs> That's creeping up very fast. But I'm looking forward to it. So, yes. Wedding week. So, next week, I'll be doing normal streaming stuff. Week after that, I am on honeymoon. So there probably is going to be a sizable gap in content while I'm away. Because we're going to the other way. <laughs> 11 days of complete incarceration, lol. I mean, we've been together for like 10 years. Way more than 10 years, actually. We, we, we officially got together in 2012. So, <laughs> to be honest, it's been a long time coming. And uh, it's definitely something I'm looking forward to formalizing. Yeah, we're going to go to the Isle of Wight on holiday. It should be fun. Um, partner has been there as a child. Really enjoyed it. And wants to show me all the places to go. I thought, that sounds like a good idea. 
Yeah, don't dig the tree. Right, so we do actually have five trees growing now. That's good. Let's copy this. Hold on. Yeah, copy this over. Um, that is going to stay there. I'm going to move this wire. It's be a fantastic person for you to, uh, for you to put up with them for 10 years. Definitely worth marrying. Yes, exactly. It's been, it's been long enough. <laughs> I've... I've hedged my bets long enough. <laughs> yeah. Is that actually being removed? It is. Okay, good. Conveyor rail. I should probably not be preemptively building all this conveyor rail. That's probably why we're actually running out of metal. Can we probably find these? I think this is going to be the permanent place we put the liquids. And then seal these up. So the pips stop wilding. Now that we know what we're actually doing with these rooms. Right, so now you are 96 tiles. Good. Shipping's great. Feels frees up so much deep labor. Oh, we're gonna add it, obviously. We're gonna re-add it, but we're just waiting for these to produce enough metal. These produce uh 400 grams per second each. And each conveyor segment is 100 grams. That's pretty good. That's actually a pretty good rate out of this, provided that they're constantly being filled with material, which they're not, because the rust is all coming from this conveyor loader. So the dupe labor is them putting the rust in this bin. But yes, I should probably actually, now that I think about it, just dig this rust here immediately and this metal. There's more ice over here as well that's melting. Uh. Yeah. Just dig that block for now. There you go. I feel like you actually uprooted the tree in the end. Which is not what I wanted. <sighs> right. So pips are in here. Are we dumping polluted water? We should be. Yes. You've got eye irritation. Okay, let's start wrangling all the pips. Pips. Pips no longer have to suffer in the cold. I don't know where they've all ended up. Some of them have probably already died from getting too cold. Realistically. A lot of them are just in random rooms. <laughs> I love when they just drop on their head. I think it's very cute. In fact, you need to get wrangled as well. Oh, oh, I see. Before we do this... Brian. Brian, Brian, Brian. In fact, you know what? Do this with ethanol. Yeah, there you go. Get all the pips in here and dump the ethanol so that it actually flows through this gap. And then we'll sweep all the rest of it up and then we'll replace the mesh tiles. Yes. Good plan. There we go, look. It's all cascading down beautifully. So that's done. <laughs> I love the noises the pips make. So now we replace these tiles. That's all going to get trapped in there. That's fine. And then sweep up all of this. And then this. And you can grab some of that stuff as well. That's have fun. Yeah, you're building those tiles. So now that forms a liquid blob here that stops the pips from crawling through it. So who's grabbing printers? Yeah, there we go. So if we look at the pip, their navigation is blocked off by this liquid. They can't climb through it. So they're going to end up stuck in here, which is what we want. Because then the pips aren't wandering around all over the ranch and making a mess of all my nice planter boxes. Why are we continuously running out of food? These mealwoods are growing. We have... What? How many do we have here? We have... 51... Oh, we don't have enough. That, that, that makes sense. We need five per dupe. Okay. Do, do, do. I screwed up the maths. 
That's fine. Eh, just a little starving. How's the metal going? Yeah, metal's going a bit better now. So I can go up here. There we go. Completely forgot why we're putting liquid there till I remember that Pips like us doesn't like to break free like the meat dirt. <laughs> no, the Pips, the Pips produce the. Oh yeah, you're right. The Pips produce the dirt, and then the dupes eat the dirt. Yes, there you go. <laughs> nah, the Pips eat the uh, the Pips make the dirt. The dupes eat the Pips. The dirt goes into the mealwoods. The dupes eat the mealwoods. Right, are these liquids actually draining? Um, I believe they are. That's fine. I'm just gonna leave this all here. The dupes can run across all this stuff to get over here. And then we'll have a ladder and a fire pole over here. Now this is all insulated. There is liquid chlorine in here, which is not exactly what we want. Uh, let's see. So let's remove these. We'll put some fire poles over here because I want to do all the space infrastructure today as well. Now the other thing is, so this at the moment is going to send all the pip eggs in here. So I think what we do is we put a... <laughs> we put a critter pickup in here. We set that to pips. We always pick them up from here and we dump them either in these rooms or in a special drowning room that may or may not be in this random space here. Right, so that's 92 tiles. Okay, so one, two, three. We need one more tile over here. That's very irksome. We've removed this. Remove this. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to drown all the excess pips like we usually do. And this time it's going to work because we're not going to try using a critter dropper for pips. That does not work. They climb out of the critter drop. Right, these tanks are actually emptying now. That's good. Obviously, this means the liquid isn't actually recirculating, but that's fine. We'll sort that out later. Just get it all out of here for now. Uh, you need to be priority nine. What do you mean no crit is available? Oh, you've all been groomed already. Oh, okay, that's... Nine, 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 nine. You, you know me. I'm just going to leave this one for now. We're not going to have that many pips yet. Right. Uh, plant boxes. What does the box say? This is just going to be a door. Oh, wait. No, we can't actually get in here, can we? No, oh, whatever. Yeah, probably nine this. Oh, it's warm enough for the plant now. Let's actually plant the plant. One would hope. Right, okay. And then fire pole goes here, you know, with all the excess metal we have. I don't really mind when it's made out. And then we remove this bit. So one... Uh, hold on. One, two, three. And then this liquid chlorine should just... Uh, sod off. And then we're going to go all the way up here. And we're going to have the suit dock over here or something. So I think for now we leave this here. And we dig this bit. We dig this bit. I don't mind the tiny little bit of chlorine. That's going to get eaten by something sooner or later. Right. So pip eggs are being dropped in here. Good. So let's not have too many critters in here. How many? Let's see. 
set this to five max five critters and then pick up the pips And then put them in these rooms. And then the drowner is going to be over here by the CO2 vent. So I think what we do is we put the third bit here. Hold on. Right. What are we actually going to do with this? This is a bit of a weird shape. I'm not going to worry about this for now. We'll think about it later. All right. Have we finally gotten rid of all the random liquids in here? No. Uh, you actually want a bottle emptier so we can dump random ethanol in you, don't we? That would be a good idea. Is this still geotuned? It is still geotuned. Not completely, but that's fine. It's in the pod. This has been open for a while. Athletics. Well, we're at zero calories, so I'm probably not going to print anyone at the moment. Believe it or not. Oh, you're not a nyctophobe anymore. Right, 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 right. Hold on. Yeah, cut this off. <laughs> You've had the lights on the whole time because you replaced the nyctophobe. Amazing. I think I'm just going to have the beds up here for now, maybe? I don't know. Because we've got bathrooms... Mess hall, kitchen. Put the bedroom's here. The rec room here, maybe? I don't know. I can think of worse places to put bedrooms. We're not going to do bedrooms. The asteroid's too small. We're just going to do barracks. We do still have... So grey area is still a loud snorer, so they get their own room, I think. <laughs> do, do they get to sleep in the irradiated zone? I think they do. Sounds funny. It's not actually irradiated, I'm just teasing. Yeah, we start putting the beds over here, so let's move the helix. In fact... Yeah, we'll put the helix here. And we'll put another pedestal over here for another artifact. Yeah, you can dry all these as well. I'd sleep in the irradiated room, that's how you get superpowers. Exactly. Alright, so grey area, you can go there. So deconstruct this. I want to clear all this stuff. Do we really not have any more pips than this? No, you just didn't grab them. Yeah, please actually grab the pips. But there's still a few wandering around elsewhere. I don't think so. I guess I will see. Right, what else are we doing? Uh, supplying two for bat seems good. Right, put the... Yeah, deconstruct all of this now. So the oxygen pipe is going to go up here as well. Yeah, dig out the weasel. Also, extend the ladder over here, and we'll start digging out all this brine ice. I know we should technically be melting it to get double the mass, but I don't really care, to be frank. I would rather just get rid of it now. That should, um... That's not gonna work. Leave that one there for now, and then we can come up here and get all of this. I don't think that's going to space expose us, right? It is nice that we have this whole chunk over here. This is definitely just going to be ammo suits. 
Does it actually even matter where we put the docks? I don't think it matters too much. Put some doors over here so we can limit access. Stop making them out of aluminium. We're going to have very abundant iron ore. What I could actually do is I could put a transit tube entrance here, have a transit tube go up here and get blocked by neutronium. <laughs> um, yeah, that was not part of the plan. Oh, whatever. We'll, we'll sort something out. This is fine. I'm not going to agonize about this. Let's actually put some Atmo suit docks in. Do we have stations for that? We do. We'll need to make an exosuit forge as well. Also, we don't have any reed fiber. We don't have any reed fiber, so we can't actually do exosuits. We're going to have to go to space without exosuits. That's fun. Well, I guess we'll just put a liquid lock up here then. In fact, maybe that's what we do here. So maybe we just seal this in. That's all this. Put a liquid lock here. Hey user, I'm good. Um, I'm still somewhat sleep deprived, but I'm okay. We have set up the pips temporarily. We're going to put the pip drowner over here because I can't really think of anything else I'm going to do productively with this area. This CO2 vent is going to be friggin' useless, apart from actually making enough CO2 for us to run rockets, which is admittedly not useless, but we're just going to let it vent. Body temperature. We're getting too hot. That is something to consider. Priority 9 to bed. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe get a neutronium destruction mod? Nah. Nah, that's not how I play the game. We'll be fine. So liquid lock here. And then this will be how we exit space. I guess maybe I'll make another bit over here. Because we've got a little bit of non-vacuum stuff where we can suspend liquids and things. I, I kind of like it. A cheesy bit of like it when my basics neat. I'm not overly worried about that on the spaced out asteroid. I don't know. I don't think I'm overly worried about that in general. Like, as so long as the main bit of the base is neat, I don't mind if the edge is a bit higgledy piggledy. Because the dupes shouldn't be in the edge too much, anyways. Except for. I mean, except the axis up here. That's fine. So yeah, we really are going to have to set up um, space without exosuits. Oxygen masks is probably still a good bet, though. I think we put the crafting station in here. I think that's what we do. Uh, hold on. There's the automation port on this. I'm being very silly. This is the tile where the buried hatch is. We're leaving it here as a monument to hatches. I.e. if we ever need to actually have a hatch. Yeah, we'll do oxygen masks. That's all we'll do space. I think. So, mask checkpoint. Um, just put this here for now I think eventually we'll change it so one two oh no those are checkpoints <laughs> don't do that so one two three four five checkpoints We have the pure oxygen going into this pipe here. So what we'll do is we'll send this up here and then that'll go all the way into these and then I'll go all the way back uh, the neutronium. Lol. Love it. Oh, <laughs> we've done a goof. We've done a goof. Harold, 
Harold has been trapped. Get him. Get him. That usually only happens when you do tiles like this. Oh well. These don't require wires. Uh, let's just put ethanol in here. I think. It's fine as long as it's not me. There. Remove these. That counts as a barracks. That's good. Uh, double helix can go here. We can put a tofu on the pedestal. Amazing. Keep putting more beds over here. Remove these ones. We got four pips in here? What do you mean? You're starving. They're all elderly and starving. Well, I mean, the branches are growing. You should be fine. It's just going to take a bit of time. Oh, you planted the, the friggin' mealwood in here. I'm sure you keep forgetting to actually pick these guys up. We need a care package with pip eggs? Wait, nah, we ain't allowed uh, care packages. We don't have any. I feel like we had more pips than this. Oh, look at gray area in the private, the private barracks. This is technically big enough to be a barracks. You know what? You can have the, the rainbow wallpaper as well. Yeah, no teleporters, no care packages. I wanted this to be... I wanted this to be as challenging as possible while not changing the difficulty settings. This is overpressurizing. Uh, I probably actually just want to dig that tile out, don't I? Then probably these ones? How much of this can we actually reach? I mean, that will help. Up to five pips. You'll start eating these. But if you don't have teleporters, how are you going to a completely useless swamp asteroid with no useful geysers on it? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean no useful geysers on it? Right, uh, let's make iron ore masks. One, two, three, four, five. Repair broken mask. So, repairing the broken masks. For some reason, I thought this took metal. It doesn't. They just repair the mask. It's just an errand. I feel like that makes oxygen masks pretty good. Your teleport asteroid dropped in completely useless. I mean, I feel like this asteroid is so useless, there has to be something better on the other asteroids. Like, I was thinking about doing biobot builder stuff with these spore kids, but we uh, don't really have steel yet. How much lime do we have? Do we have any lime? No. That should be on the list. So should refined carbon. Uh, there's probably a few things I can remove from here now. Let's see. Seeds. I don't care about mealwoods. Liquifiables. I don't think I really care about those. Right. You are finished with that. You can finish with that too. Oxygen masks are really good, except when you need environmental protection, which is what exosuits originally were. I think it was so-called hazmat suits and research tree. Yeah, they're, they're called exosuits and um, atmo suits interchangeably. It's interesting. Right, so the dupes should be able to come out of here without any issues. And then we're going to have to set up a very rudimentary telescope and a very rudimentary... Rocket. In fact, let's research the enclosed telescope. That is down here. And then we could probably put it all in here, and then that way we can water cool stuff. Maybe. 
How's this looking? Yeah, this is draining out. That's good. Uh, these water pipes... This is just going to connect over here. That means I can remove all of these now. You'll be fine. Wait, regrow tree. Excess food is starting to accumulate a little bit. Meat should be cooked into barbecue. We should not be consuming raw meat. That can be Friday nine. We will eventually want to set up a freezer. Now the funny thing is, we actually still have all this cold ice here. Do we just turn that into a freezer? It's near our base. I feel like that would actually make sense. Uh, let's just remove all of this stuff. If it moved the, uh, the helix. Yeah, I guess we'll start doing the acorns in a bit. I don't want to focus too much on that. I hate how you get all these weird artifacts near space. And not the, not the actual artifacts like the one down here. I mean the visual artifacts where you've got like the little dashed line and stuff. I think, to be honest, I'm going to make this like a storage bin over here for rust. In fact, there already is rust in here. These are full of rust. They just need to take the rust out of these and put it in here. Oh, that's actually the issue, isn't it? Right, make these party eight. They're currently set to sweep only, right? Yeah. What we got? Yeah, I'm not... I don't think I'm taking anyone unless they're really good. I don't know, we probably could take some more dupes now. I just don't know where I actually want to put them. The thing is, I shouldn't rely on these having oxygen permanently. Because eventually we're going to run out of materials. But what we could do is we could... We could set up some more beds temporarily. And then ship these dupes off to the new planet. Yeah, that that's probably a good idea. Okay, let's set up some more beds over here. And then we can actually start printing good dupes again. I think that makes sense. And uh, you know what? Just remove all of these. On a side topic, you made a new Dyson Super Dragon bus that relied heavily on what uh, Nilaus made. Yours is a lot more collapsed vertically. Nice, nice. Feel free to post that on the Discord. I know um, a few people who are interested in seeing that. We are going to go back to Dyson Sphere Program at some point when they update the space combat. That's the plan. Right, what's Long Commutes doing these days? It's gone down, which is good. That is good. Ponder is fairly low on the list. You like to see it. You're running out of polluted water, which is fine. Um... I need to rejig this to actually let this water out of here, right? No? Oh, that's what I needed to do. Okay, that's kind of funny. Okay, set that back to how it was before then. You do need to keep growing so the pips don't die. So the pips don't die and they're starting to feel the shame. Ah, God. Right, you're delivering the oxygen masks. Good. Right, um, we'll put more ladders over here. We'll do a fire pole over here as well. This will be the actual space bit. And then we can actually clear this out and that won't be an issue. Where are we actually going to launch the rocket from? One thing I've got to bear in mind is if we launch the rocket, it could boil a liquid lock. So I think we want to launch it as high into space as we can. 
I don't think we want to capture any of the CO2 from the CO2 rocket. And if we've got oxygen, building this shouldn't be an issue, so... Let's just see how high we can go. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, that's almost done. Good. Yay, brush the pip teeth. So if we're doing a pip thumbnail, it's going to be of the acorn thing. And if we don't do that today, we'll do a rocket thumbnail. Wow, they did that really quickly. That's good. Imagine that. Hey, Lumen. How are you going? I've been illuminated. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How are you all doing? How's Oxygen Not Included been going today? I saw you playing it. I didn't, I didn't have time to end up uh, catching you. Um, hello, Raiders. Thanks uh, hello, Monster. Uh, hello, Mama Bear Gillek. Thank you very much for follow uh, Jimma Khan. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> it's just been mistake after mistake, so many of them. Fair. We made a few mistakes in this run. We did kill a dupe. But we killed the frozen friend. They uh, they came out. We suffocated them over here with some gravitas ruins uh, when they were trying to remove them, and then they died. So we buried them where we found them. <laughs> uh, but we're on the frozen forest asteroid. Uh, things are getting pretty much uh, finished here. There is not a lot to do here, if I'm going to be honest. We have pips. We have trees. We have a hydrogen vent that we've geotuned because we're that desperate for power. I don't normally recommend doing this, but we don't really have a choice. What else do we have? We have some rusty oxidizers. So we, what we did is we mined all the brine ice in the map. There's no salt on the frozen forest asteroid. There's lots of rust. So we mined all the brine ice. We melted it with a tepidizer, desalinated it, and sent all the salt in here to go with the rust, and that's how we're getting oxygen and iron ore. Wish you could stay and watch, but I need to get out of my apartment. There are schedules, uh, showing schedule. Fair enough, no worries. Um, have fun outside. <laughs> have fun outside touching grass, and I'll, I'll see you when you return. Right, so I think we just put a ladder here. That's fine. I'm just going to cover this in insulated tiles, because if we do have a rocket erupt, I don't want this boiling under any circumstances. But yeah, I've realized we're going to have to go into space and find the new planet and do all that stuff without exosuits. So, yeah. Am I concerned about sand consumption with the dash of salt mines? I mean, I would be, but apparently we've been gifted with like 60 to 100 tons of sand on this asteroid, so I'm not that concerned. Um, we will need to find... We will need to find a geyser of some kind at some point. Something, some way of producing sand. We'll have to find something to rock crush. We'll rock crush a load of uh, fossil into sedimentary rock, and then maybe we'll rock crush that into sand. But I'm not that concerned. We we didn't go absolutely ham on these. We only built two because we know we're building. We're using limited resources with these, so I didn't want to go absolutely crazy with them. Like we have gone absolutely crazy with these on Badlands boffins. We made six of them in a row because we had that much uh, salt from our salt water. So that was pretty fun. Yay, oxygen masks. That gives you an iron volcano and a saltwater geyser. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what we're going to find in space. So let's see. I think we're just going to dig all of this material out. Yeah, just, just remove it. Just remove it, and then we'll put the telescope over here, maybe. Thanks for the follow. Thank you very much for the follow. A pointy pitter. <laughs> I like that username. Enjoy your fishy and froggy emotes. Whiskers sends their regards. Yes, maybe we should have a quick fish update. Where are the fish? What are you guys up to? I think Whiskers is having a nap. I can't see where Whiskers is. I think they're around the back. Oh well, the fish say hi. Did a frog say hi? Yeah, the frog says hi. You can see the frog. Frog. The fish. Yes. There's not too much oxygen out here, and the ethanol is blocking the gas from leaving here, so that's absolutely fine. I feel like this is actually going to be a pretty organized space program today. 
much more organized than that Kerbal Space program. Man, that game is really fun. I'm never streaming that game, though. I have so many performance issues with that game in general. Right, um... Where am I putting this? I'm just putting it here. So maybe don't do these ladders. But maybe just remove this. <laughs> okay, the fish look a bit concerned about the lack of Atmos suits. I'm concerned too, but we don't have any reed fiber, uh, thimble reeds or drecos in this asteroid. And we don't have a teleporter. Oh look, we can click the button. Yeah. Music. Dupes in space. <laughs> I like clicking the button. That happens pretty early in uh, these spaced out runs with the moonlets. So where's the actual top that we can go to? The top's all the way up here. Interesting. That means if we drywall this, we probably have a lot of extra space for building stuff. Hmm. Very cool. Right, uh, let's see. So enclosed telescope goes here. Room for big rockets. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be honest, there's not that much to do on this asteroid. Maybe we do put a rocket chimney in here and start using it to melt the frozen core or something. I don't know. We've still got all this heat leaking out over here. I was kind of hoping that this would actually start condensing all the CO2. We have a lot of solid CO2 over here. I should probably be concerned. But I'm not. There's lots of metal over here as well. I should remember that in case we run out of metal. Then you'll power solve too. Yes, but we would need an actual steam rocket to do that. So I think we're a bit of a way off of doing that. But yes, that's probably... That probably is what we want to do for more power on this asteroid. We do want solar panels. That's something worth doing. Let's see. How much power usage are we getting on each of these spines? I mean, there's quite a lot of power on each of these. What's the biggest consumer on this one? A tepidizer? I think we could put the glass forge in here. Well, maybe not, like, actually here. But, like, nearby. Maybe we put the glass forge over here and we just dump the glass into this water. I think that makes sense. The logic with the insulated tiles does not make a huge amount of sense here, I'll admit. We did heat seal the asteroid, now we're letting all the heat leak out of here. Um, there isn't actually that much mass to conduct heat with out here though, so I don't think that's a huge concern. Maybe I just... Uh... What I could do is I could just seal this off here. Remove this. Take this out. The ladder over here, maybe. And then a ladder over here. And just remove all of this. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess there's not a huge. I guess we're not in a huge rush over here. How are you guys doing? You're not starving anymore, are you? No. You are actually eating the tree. That's good. You'll have to see it. Right. Wire. Wire needs to go over here. So I'm going to send it this way. That's fine. All of our refined metal is coming from metal refineries, which is why we've done this Ross Deoxidoza stuff, just to make sure we definitely don't run out of metal ore, because we're refining all of the metal ore. That's very much the plan. Uh, the oxygen also needs to go over here, which we did think of, so that can go like this. There you go. You might want to priority 9 that pipe. We can't reach that wire under liquids. Uh... This one, yes. Uh, no, they can. They can reach all of this. They can't reach this. Oh, yeah, that's what you meant. The... What are we going to do about that, then? Probably just move the wire, realistically. I don't want to bother removing any of these tiles. There you go. 
Right, these tanks are all full now, so this has stopped circulating. That's fine. So, disconnect this. And then... Um, we need to do something over here. I do want to keep the liquid tanks in general. We didn't just move them because we couldn't be bothered to deconstruct them. We need to do that. That's priority nine this. Priority nine this as well. And then I don't think this is going to be permanent, but for now, Glass Forge goes here. What do I make this out of? Probably Igneous Rock. Nine. Yes, I, <laughs> I like the priority nine emote. That's my favorite one, I think. Um this building is always a pain to build with an actual auto with a automation wire thing. So I think what we do is we just put it here. And then the lamp goes here. This is not going to be permanent. Because I do want to get solar panels. That's a big thing. And then this wire goes like this. And then what pipe do we have? We do have some ceramic. So let's make some ceramic pipe go up here. And this pressure sensor should mean this never overpressurizes. So the vent can just go here. And then that glass can just heat all of this up, and then we'll have plenty of glass for building solar panels with. You've got your oxygen masks, so you can still go up here. <laughs> you see my new fancy aero pots. You need solar panels with your fancy plant pots. Lol. True. Right, removey that. Removey smoothie. How many pip eggs we got now? Lots of rotting meal ice. A sign we should take more dupes. I think we do take more dupes. I think we're ready. We'll take more dupes and we'll eventually move them back to the other asteroid. Right. Drywall. Let's continue with the drywall as well. So we know what's going in here. Spore kid plant. Spore kid print. Auto sweepers get to work on the granite. Do you like me some xylophone noises? Especially when I actually do it properly instead of doing it like that. But yeah, this is the fifth stream of this run. We've been doing about 25 cycles of run. Um, uh, 25 cycles of stream at the moment. Um, so it's going a little bit faster than my classic playthroughs. I think I really do just prefer the spaced out style these days. Less lag. More focused playthrough. Uh, more challenge, generally speaking. Uh, this is going to be the same eventually. That's exactly what's going to happen over here. Why are you damaged? Oh, overloading. Okay, that's fine. So, this stuff can all be priority 8. Um, I guess it's priority nine then, whatever. New building can be priority eight. We'll start doing the pip drowner once we've actually got a critical mass of pips. You have been turned off. No, you're a different storage. You're for metal ore in general. I think. And refined carbon. Yeah, no, you're not quite reachable by this, are you? That would have made more sense. I keep forgetting this actually activates. Right, we do want more dupes, but these guys aren't very good, so we'll wait a little bit longer. Yeah, now you definitely have too much food.
It's five meal woods per dupe, and we had... Oh, I think we... Yeah, I think we still overproduced. Okay, let's actually just uh, remove these guys for now, then. Right. When are you doing this? Here we go. I'm here in the oxygen mask in the building. Let's actually... Use an oxygen... I guess there's a little bit of... What temperature is this? It's not really heating up. I guess it's exchanging heat with the gas. It's probably fine. Okay, good. We'll start looking for space uh, destinations. And you can finish this off. And then that means we can remove this over here. Uh, we would want another mess hall, wouldn't we? Another great hall. Well, it seems to continue to die in here. What skills does everyone have? I have a skill. I'm taking supplying. We need to make rec rooms for people. Also, we need someone who's actually interested in rocketing. Maybe. Rowan, I think you're a good candidate. Because we're going to need to build stuff in the other asteroid. Use the... Let's keep digging. It's still quite cold over here. We don't have something that's super cold. I don't really want to set up a thermo aqua tuner to cool something. We could do some thermo regulators. No, I think we just do something like. I think maybe we just store all the food in the frozen core. Yeah, look, this is cold enough. This is cold enough and it's all CO2. So here's what we do. We take all the... Okay, so... Here's what we do, right? Bridge. Bridge goes here. Actually, no. Not, not there. Put another bit there. I'm just going to remove all this ice now. Remove this. This will be great hole number two. This is all eventually going to heat up. We're all eating the meal ice, that's good. I think I am just going to put another decor item in here that's not... That's not one of these. We just need to get some reed fiber first. We need reed fiber anyways. Hey back guy, hope you're doing well. I'm, I'm really glad you like the crab emo. I like it too. There you go. You can do something with that. Remove this. Put some more mess tables here. Is this going to be permanent? I don't know. It'd be nice to have an actual rec room down here as well. Let's put a juke bot in. Yeah, I think some kind of light over here would do well. Oh, you need lights in the mess hall. Yeah, you need lights in the mess hall so that you actually eat faster. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Here you go. So you eat faster and you use the actual phone faster. Forgot to do that. That's mildly annoying. Let's okay, so hope you're doing well. Now everyone's on the same schedule, so I think we can just plug this into the same wire as the metal refinery and it's not going to cause any issues. That's not even the metal refinery wire, though. <laughs> Well, no one's going to be using the glass forge. A tepidizer might run, but I think that's actually fine. 
And then we're going to have CO2 for other rec buildings. Definitely want some other stuff in here as well. Remove this. I feel like this might be permanent. The only thing being, I am going to need to insulate this part again properly because I know we're leaking all the heat out of here now. This is generating a fair bit of heat. It's probably fine. I'm certainly having fun in space. Am I getting the lit workspace bonus? I am, because it's space. There's plenty of light in space, believe it or not. In fact, I'm probably going to get sunburned if I'm not careful. Right, build that. Build a lamp in here as well. Uh, that can just go like this. And then automate that. What are we going to print? Or what are we going to give skill-wise? Uh, building two, I think. Yeah, I think we'll make this permanent. I'm not going to just stack loads of branches over here just for the sake of it. I don't think that's really in the goal. So we'll drive all this too. We have very different styles when it comes to drywalling. You like to do these actual interesting elaborate art pieces and I just like to color code rooms. Right, this is recirculating properly now. That's good. Awaiting coolant. Oh, right. We need to reactivate this now. Yes. There we go. True beans. True, true beans? That's not a phrase. I, I just combined true that and cool beans. There you go. Uh, let's research some more recreation stuff. So now we have radiation. So soda fountain is, a, is one we want to do. We detected a new planetoid. I think we did. Did we detect two? Nice. All right. We found the flipped asteroid, which contains a liquid sulfur geyser, an infectious polluted oxygen vent, a steam vent, and a cool steam vent. Interesting. So there is water, there is power. We know from flip farters that the flipped asteroid is habitable, but I don't know what it's like to actually land on it. I think that's going to be quite complicated, believe it or not. So perhaps we prioritize somewhere else. The sulfur geyser is also good for water. But it's probably not an immediate priority. Yeah, landing on that asteroid is going to be a completely different experience. Anyways, so the cooked, the actual cooked food, what we want to do with that is I think we want to just drop it down here. And then we want to pick it back up and send it to the, the refrigerator when we need it to go. So I was going to put a refrigerator somewhere. Just put that here for now. Nah, I don't know. Seems like a lot of moving material around. And we'd have to automate it to make sure we didn't just have a conveyor line full of food. It doesn't seem like a very good plan in all honesty. Dreamer, you can have Splang. I get you exosuits as well. Right, we did actually build the glass forge. How much width do we actually have? So we have... Oh wait, I've done something very silly, haven't I? A 
128 tiles of width. Funny number. So if we did the whole width in solar panels, that would be 18 solar panels. Interesting. Now, in the past, what I've done is I've put the solar panels at the top, and I've realized now that you don't actually need to do that because um, a lot of tiles actually let the light through. And whatever we do over here, we're actually going to have to sort out meteor protection. That's the other thing I didn't think about. So we're going to want our meteor protection system up here, and we're probably actually going to want to ha um, harvest all the oxalite and store it for our own use. That's something I definitely want to do as well. Okay, that can go there. This can go here. Uh, you may as well put an insulated tile here as well. What do you mean invalid building location? Oh, because you built a drywall. Okay. Yeah, you can remove the drywall. That's fine. I'm still delivering loads of brine. You're not auto-bottling this, are you? No, you're not. You, we just dumped a load of brine somewhere, apparently. Okay. I guess we did just dump a load of brine somewhere. Yeah, we dumped a load of it down here. Also, we can remove this lab desk now, and then we can actually move these ladders down here. Because I think we can run it past the biobot builder, and that's actually fine. So now we can just remove all of this. It's going to take us a while to detect all this stuff. Oh, we found the next Oxalite Meteor Shower. 2.7 cycles. How much of this can we get done in 2.7 cycles? We found another planetoid. Let's go. Cool. Socarista. Now that's a name. So we got Uranium Meteor Shower. We got Cool Steam Vent, Salt Water Geyser, Water Geyser, Cool Salt Slush Geyser. So that's where all the water is. Interesting. I mean, that makes sense. It's probably just worth landing here for now then, isn't it? I feel like, obviously a lot of it is hot water. We can condense the cool steam vent output with the water geyser. We can definitely do that. I think. No. No, we can't, because the condensation temperature is actually going to be like 97 degrees and the heat ratio isn't going to be quite right. Aha, here's another one. The Desert Lands. Ice Meteor Shower. Chlorine. Uh, cool Steam Vent. Polluted Water Vent. Leaky Oil Fissure. Carbon Dioxide Geyser. Oil Reservoir. Okay. So, no Metal Volcanoes in any of these. I think it depends what critters we find as well. We want to bring some puffs back. Oh, we definitely need jungle biomes. We need uh, Dracos. So I think that means we... Yeah, I think that means we go to uh, this one. Yeah. We need Dracos or oil. Okay. Well, I'm convinced. Are you all done now? No. That's fine. How's this all going? Is the loop still circulating? It is. It's all filling up again. Good. Right. I probably... Oh, look, we're all having a dance party. Excellent. Good job. This will surely help with the morale. Now, how wide do we make this bit? If we make it 23 wide again, that comes out here. Then doors go in line with this. We could fit another rust thing in here for more oxygen and stuff. Ah, look! Nightbot! Nightbot has done the thing! Nightbot has actually uh, deleted a link. 
There you go. Good night, bot. Right, you know what? Let's actually do this pip thing now while we're waiting. So let's keep dumping liquids in here. So we want to dump polluted water in here next. There's lots of CO2 in here now, so that should help stop it from off-gassing. Yeah, so I want to try out this uh, acorn experiment. Still grabbing all the drywall, that's fine. Do I, do I put it on speed 3? Is that what we do? I'm just going to keep skilling you up in actual useful skills. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think we put it on speed 3. You guys aren't going to ponder all day because you haven't got enough errands to do. We're trying our best with all this drywall. Uh, this is going to stay here, so I believe you can do this. Oh, you need to build this here as well. And we need to print a dupe. I am looking for good dupes. You're not a good dupe. Uh, I don't think I really need you. I don't think I really need you. Well, that was unsuccessful. Yeah, there you go. Have fun. So, we have enough... We have enough room for 18 solar panels. I don't think we're going to want that many. The light on this asteroid is... Is that good? I don't think it's that... I don't think it's that good. I think it's about normal. But we need some room to actually put the rocket as well. Maybe I just launched the rocket on this side because there's nothing of interest over here. We did build we did just build the space exit out here. We built another space exit over here. I guess it's not really a huge problem, is it? Yeah, sure, why not? We want all this sand anyways. I can get you to just start clearing out the asteroid now, I think. Uh, I do want you to do this. Okay, let's go back to speed two. Oh, we need to get all the stuff out of here. These oxyferns aren't working properly because of the water down here. God damn it. Let's do liquefiables. Right, we have polluted water in here. Okay, stop dumping polluted water in here. Now it's brine. And then it's water. In fact, you've got all the water over here. So yeah, just dump that preferably. Now these sweep jobs are always much quicker if two dupes are doing them at once. Because if just one dupe does it, the liquid keeps flowing until it stops being viscous enough. Whereas if you have two dupes, they actually manage to interrupt the liquid and they get the job done. Not that we've intentionally led that to happen. It, it's just something that happened. <laughs> right, you also want the lamps in here for when we actually get this working. There you go. So let's plug this in. Dupes eating 15% faster is pretty good, in all honesty. Yeah, now you're working at full speed again. Uh, looks like we found a destroyed satellite over here as well. Nothing of interest. Uh, there's an artifact. Great. Not super interesting. But yeah, we know we're going to go to the desert lands first. That makes that makes sense because we need ammo suits. Really. 
We could probably just go up here and analyze this, right? So let's see, the Neutronium goes here. So I think what makes sense is to do the ladder going up here again. Base fire pole can come down here. That's probably a bit close actually, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit close. Let's just actually move it over here and then we'll fill in this gap. I think I'm fine just doing it like this. Do just want to start clearing out all this space, although leave that for now. I don't think there's any reason not to start clearing out this space. We want all the resources. And we want to remove all the cold mass as well. Not sure what I was doing over here. Remove this. Let's see. Uh, you can proteate that. You can proteate this. You never built that wire. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I don't mind that. I'm still doing my best. We've got, what, 0 0.9 cycles until the meteors hit. I think that really is going to be the next question is just what do we do with the meteors? Because I haven't actually done meteor stuff in Spaced Out, I don't think. Imagine Somehow, that. which is crazy. Hello, Wasteland Puppy TV. Hope you're having a good day. Have you been playing Oxygen Not Included? We are having fun on the frozen uh, forest asteroid. A wild puppy pack appears. Oh, no. <laughs> I like your biscuit um, emote. It's quite a cute emote. Yeah, it's going all right. Uh, we're on cycle 130. We've got the pip branches up. The pips are being looked after now. So that's nice. We have all the eggs are going in here. We have geotuners for the hydrogen vent. This is all our power. It's from this geotune geyser. It's now dormant. But the dormant... We figured this out. The dormancy cycle on this asteroid... There. The dormancy cycle on this vent is super short. So it doesn't actually matter too much. We're doing a matriarchy challenge? What does that mean? Are you only allowed female dupes? <laughs> and we're, we're doing an experiment down here as well. We're trying to stack up the liquids in here. And we're going to try and get... Um, we're going to try and get uh, acorns. Infinite acorns from a tree. But we're waiting to get the pit numbers up before we fully commit to this. Female dupes only do research and, and no care packages. Fair. But, oh, that does sound interesting. We, we, we don't have care packages on either. We don't have care packages and we remove the teleporter. So we're just demolishing all of the Gravitas ruins we find. <laughs> Basically a fertility, fertility cult and a rhyme asteroid. Yeah, this asteroid was cold. We've heated up the bit with the plants enough, but it's still very cold in general. And I'm kind of in the process of just getting everyone to clear out the asteroid at this point. Because I don't want all this cold mass sitting around. And we want all of the resources. We don't want the spore kids though. Spore kids bad. We do have lots of wheeze warts, but we don't have a lot. Uh, actually, we do have a Thanks lot of phosphorite just from the map. Thank you very much for the follow. Enjoy your fishy and froggy emotes. Whiskers sends their regards. We are fish enthusiasts on this channel rather than dog enthusiasts. Dogs are all right, but we prefer fish. Why am I tiling this? The run speed, I guess. Uh, that's probably fine. <sighs> yeah. I think honestly what we do is we just remove all of the cold mass up here. And then we don't have to insulate everything. Only thing being we don't want to break into this bit here. There you go. Yeah, this one's going alright. It's going a little bit slower than uh, some other runs. Uh, but because we're spaced out, it's lagging less, so that's good. <laughs> Already killed my colony once and needed to restart. Last time playing only has been a hot minute. Yeah. <laughs> if I go a week without playing it, I feel all sorts of rusty, and I have, like, over 2,000 hours in this game. <laughs> we did actually kill a dupe. We had a frozen friend. 
that we um that we removed from the cryo tank and then we got them to demolish some gravitas ruins and the ruins were in such a way that they trapped themselves so we couldn't get them out so we buried them next to where we found them rip ash can we love fish yes fish are great and we're also frog enthusiasts Yeah, I think we just clear out all this stuff for now. Uh, doors can go over here. Do all this stuff. Thanks for all the fish. So long and thanks for all the fish. You're welcome. Uh, these... This split of water is off-gassing as well. That's also how we're getting a fair bit of oxygen. I'm not digging underneath for now because... Eventually, we're going to want to move the Oxyfern to the bottom of the map, but the bottom of the map has a load of, uh... There's a load of, um, frozen core shenanigans going on. We could probably just seal this off now, if we really cared about that. Then again, uh, solidifying all the CO2 is kind of funny. Yes, let me know when you... Oh, area complete. Okay, so we've actually scanned everything we can scan. There's no other interesting things that we can look at. We are just going to be doing CO2 rockets to start. So where is all the CO2? I mean, obviously by the geyser. That makes sense. Okay. So I think what makes sense is putting a gas pipe down here. This airflow tile is blocked by water. This is a trick to uh, vent, apparently. Is that actually venting? It is venting the oxygen, but it's all going down here. Holy moly! Oh, we have an actual issue on our hands. This vent has accidentally been tricked, and it's overpressurizing the base. That's very funny. Okay, we'll turn that off then. <laughs> of course, you can do that on an asteroid that's cold. Yeah. Right. That was very funny. The last one we did was called Exploits Not Included. I'm going to put that in the mistakes thing, because now we've got way too much oxygen hanging around on here, and everyone's getting popped eardrums. Um, we'll see if that actually matters. There's my thing. Here it is. I'm not sure that counts as a mega mistake, but whatever. We'll be, we'll be liberal adding to that. Right, we need carbon dioxide for rockets. So that pump's going to go there. And then we're also going to put a canister filler here. Because this is where we're going to get all the CO2 for the for the thing. For the soda fountain, which we're researching, which we still haven't grabbed because this is entombed by snow. Amazing. Good job. I just noticed that. The oxy, the oxalite has landed. Okay. Um. The oxalite doesn't damage anything. I've just realized. Looks like there's occasional regolith asteroids as well. I don't think anything's getting damaged though. So all we need to do is set up robo miners. And then store the oxalite somewhere. Because none of this is actually getting damaged. Well, that's that's a relief. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love how there's just a random shine bug just vibing out here. We killed all the ones that actually in the asteroid. But there's still just one vibing outside the base. Um Oh, I've oh I've I've done goofed. Um Seal this up, please. We want all the polluted oxygen to stay down here. So I think what we do is cut this off. Seal this here. Maybe for now. Yeah, that'll probably do for now. <laughs> We're letting all the bleach stone out. 
We do have a bin down here that we're telling people to store it in. I'll probably just plant some more dash of salt vines somewhere. I'm not overly concerned. Yeah, where are we actually going to put the rocket? We could just put the rocket up here. I think that makes sense. I don't think we're going to actually harvest the CO2 that comes out of the rocket. So, let's see. Does it make sense to put it up here? Let's build a rocket platform. Build it next to it like this. Oh, actually, you know what makes sense? Just build it directly above the satellite. That'd be funny. <laughs> Melt all this water onto it. You have solar panels and a shine bug. Hmm, yes, the shine bug reactor. Shine bug reactor is real. You know what, just put it there. That amuses me. Bleach stone is the worst stone, basically useless after the germ nerfing. I wish there was a way to revert the germ updates, but nothing else, just to see. Um, have you tried geotuning with it? I quite like geotuning all my water sources. And you usually need bleach stone for that. Should dig all that oxalite and stuff shit in a chest when you run low after the rust is gone. Um, we're gonna set it up to... We're gonna set it up to collect from the meteors automatically. I don't really care about mining it at this stage. It disappears so quickly it would be quite a stretch to get everyone actually up here. We'll mine it automatically and then we'll store it somewhere underwater. That is that is definitely a plan. Yeah, we'll just put the we'll just put the rocket platform here. That looks funny. Let's see what happens with all the heat. Ah, oh, look, all the sporky print is done. Looks nice. Right, you've dumped polluted water in here. That's good. So you need to dump brine in here next. Um, I'm just going to yellow alert this because I want to get this done today. I want this to be the thumbnail, ideally. Yeah, we want brine and then water. I'm going to laugh when your liquid tanks melt and spill 20 tons of polluted water all over the base. Oh, they're not going to melt. They're fine. Wait, no! <laughs> That's not what we wanted. Okay. We're going to have to do something different with that then. So I thought... I thought the polluted water went on the bottom, then the brine. Am I just completely wrong? Yes, I am just completely wrong. Excellent, good job. Okay. This is why we put the mesh tiles here, so we can just sweep all of this. I want to do this at least once. Right, so now we put the brine here. We're still looking for good dupes to send to the other planet. Flatulent, no. Um, you're a good dupe. You have lots of interests for morale. You have an extra bonus to husbandry, and you have a decor morale bonus. You can't cook. That's fine. We'll take Steve. This new lot will be the new colonizers. Um, so let's give you digging first. And then priorities for Steve can be... Ranching, digging, and... The other one. What's your other interest? Oh, suit wiring. Okay. Maybe just digging and ranching for now then. That's fine. You can go over here. I'll give you a hat. I did. That's fine. Right. Uh, that's plenty of brine. So now, polluted water next. So does that work now? No. It still goes onto this tile. 
So it seems like the order doesn't actually matter. It's just where you're actually dumping the liquid onto. I feel like we're going to have to actually put the bottle emptiers up here and do it with mesh tiles. That's fine. At least I left this room free to do that. That's fine. Okay, we're going to need to sweep this again, though. Right, and then just dump a little bit of brine on this. Yes, Camille, I mean you. There you go. We will see this Arbor Acorn experiment today. I guarantee it. Still building all these ladders up here. I mean, we do want them up here eventually. <laughs> Are we going to want to drive all this space? Maybe not. We'll see. There's a lot of water on the other asteroids. So we can do a lot of stuff. But again, the point is kind of not to grab a load of duplicates. So we'll see about that. You probably nine these to make sure the blue oxygen doesn't all escape. So when are we actually getting uh, lime? We've not got enough eggshell yet. We have four pips in here now, but we have seven eggs and a cuddle pip egg. Do we care about cuddle pips? I don't think we do. I think we just, I think we just move the cuddle pips into the bedrooms. I think that's what we do. So cuddle pip egg, you can just move here. Right, so now, polluted water in here, please. And then regular water on top. We know the regular water goes on top. You're going to take that polluted water and put it all... Yeah, you're, you're going to have to come all the way around here, that's fine. Um, CO2 pump can go here. And I think for now, that will do. Just fill up the canister with CO2. Right, so that has dumped in there properly. That's good. I would like to dump a little bit more liquid than that in there, though. All this random liquid down here as well. Uh, do we not have any more polluted water to dump? No. Um... In that case, sweep all of this up as well. Dig, uh, dig all of this. The heat is leaking out of here, but I don't think it's a huge issue. Hooray! Dance party! How's the bathrooms looking? Yeah, bathrooms are looking good. Good. I'll put pipe full. Let's uh, redo this again. Let's prioritize venting the metal refinery over circulation now. Uh, we can remove these as well. That's fine. Food has decayed. Yeah, slightly overproducing meal ice is not ideal, but that's fine. Are we actually getting the research done now? We are, it's just taking a while for the rad bolts to come in. Also, I've realized Grey Area is probably getting shot by rad bolts occasionally. Let's actually watch this. Let's watch Grey Area get shot by a rad bolt. Oh, is it going to happen? <laughs> Paddocking. Quick! Ah, uh, shoot. Wasn't quite timed appropriately. It's probably happening occasionally, though. 
Oh, you're not getting very many rad bolts now. Why is that? It's because... It's because this is blocked by the oxygen, right? Used to be vacuum and the oxalite probably isn't helping. I think the radiation's supposed to come out of this tile. I mean, that radiation's... Yeah, that radiation's lower too. Interesting. Uh, we probably want to dig all of this, right? Although, actually, let's do it like this. Then we can dig these two last. That can probably be priority two. And this can probably be priority one. You do not need to do the fire pole shuffle in space as a priority. I'll be real. Is this actually reachable? I think this is all reachable. Right, so you've dumped polluted water in here now. That's fine. Uh, so dump regular water in here now. This is enough polluted water. And then we should have four tiles of liquids. I'm really looking forward to seeing the Arbor, um, Arbor Acorn experiment work. And when it, and when we do get this tree set up, we'll um, move a pip in here just to investigate. We'll see how many Arbor Acorns we end up with. Because I think, in all honesty, I think we probably are going to pip plant a few and try the whole pip planting approach. Yeah, you're generating more rad bolts now. It's clearly the oxalite getting in the way. Right, you're filling up with CO2, right? Yeah, that's good. So this pipe can go up here. There's always going to be stuff here because it's going to come out from the geyser. Uh, we need these tiles here to maintain the room dimensions. So let's actually put mesh tiles here. I think that makes sense. And then that pipe needs to go over here, I think. Yeah, that'll do. And then that can just go over here to wherever the rocket ends up being. Okay. After four months, I started only today because I dropped by here yesterday. Landed a pretty nutty seed in a new colony. Second planet is stacked with water guys. I saw water guys from Cool Slash. It was a new colony because I've got to remember how to play. What, the regular water geyser is like the best geyser. Like, twice the throughput of a cool steam vent, you can just pump it straight into your electrolyzer. It kind of boggles my mind how good the water geyser is, actually. Uh, you need to enable auto bottle on these. We do have a geysers tier list video that I did. It's quite old, but I think it's still pretty relevant about which geysers to prioritize your starting a run. And I put water geysers and gold volcanoes super high. Gold volcanoes are super high because they generate so little heat you can get the refined metal super easily. And it just basically solves your early industry problem. Literally just dump polluted water on it and you're never going to have any issues with it until you can actually tame it. I was thinking of doing an update to the video, but to be honest, most of the content I still agree with. The only thing it's not up to date with is geotuning, but I made a separate geotuning video where I recommend which geysers are worth geotuning. I I put the hydrogen geyser as like the second least, the second least, um, not the second least, but like one of the worst geysers to geotune, but we're doing it in this case, we have literally no choice. Do I actually want you to make the glass as well? You know what, let's, let's do it. So we need eight lots per solar panel. We need 18 solar panels. We're probably not going to do 18. Let's just do 80. See how that goes. You're out of power? Why are you out of power? Oh, the hydrogen vent is disabled. Oh, well, that makes sense. Oh, that's not good at all. We, we burned through all our hydrogen. <laughs> That's no bueno. It was one of the first videos of yours I ever watched. I used it to fall asleep to one night and then went back to rewatch because I found it valuable. Nice. 
Appreciate it. It's an irradiated asteroid, so you can imagine my excitement as a lush core. Yeah, the uh, radioactive ocean asteroid has loads of water. Which, to be honest, I think makes it easier than the other asteroid, than this asteroid. Because there's loads of hot water. And there's still a cold bit. And you can always do nuclear stuff for power. I did a video about a mini research reactor as well. Or you can just do a regular research reactor. You do need to go and get um, plastic, though, to do that. <sighs> Anyways, we're done with this. Stop spilling water everywhere now, please. So, that is fine. Um, I'm going to save it, but there's no point saving it because we can't reload. But essentially now what we need to do is come in here and sweep this. And because we're not touching these tiles here, we should end up with a stack of four liquids on top of each other. That's why we've done it like this and we filled up this area. So let's see if this actually works. We'll end up with a minimal amount of mass on these tiles, but it should actually stay stable. Now this is some advanced liquid jank we got going on here. But again, all credit to GC Fungus for this trick. Okay. <laughs> so now we have the minimum amount of viscous mass of each of these four liquids here. Yeah, it's very cool. Okay, we got the rainbow over here. We're making our own rainbow. So now what we do is we just remove these three tiles. In fact, I think we remove all these tiles now. I think that's fine. Um, oh, we do need to sweep up all the water. Do that as well. Uh, this can be set to this. We actually need to solve the, high, the the power problem. I think we need to plug in some manual generators over here as well. Which is not really what I wanted to do. I think we just put them in here for now. But we do kind of need a backup plan in case we run out of hydrogen. This is not a good backup plan. You have to remove them in order. No. Um, oh, the tiles. I don't think so. They're at the minimum mass, so they shouldn't flow. Because we removed all the liquids here, these do naturally end up at their minimum mass doing this technique. Yeah, now I'm actually concerned. I think we're just generally out of power now. I mean, we have a wood burner down here, but that's not really good enough. We do have 44 tons of coal. We did have kilns that we were using to refine refined carbon. We could do some coal power plants. We're not aiming for super sustainable. Just scared because I always have issues with stacked liquid doors. I mean, we'll see, but I don't think there should be an issue. This should form a vacuum. Oh, wait, this is going to form a vacuum, isn't it? Uh... We may need to dump some gas in here. I don't think that would break it, though. Yeah, because how's a tree going to grow if it doesn't have any air pressure? Okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. Physics! <laughs> uh, we need to put some gas in here before we actually plunk the tree in here. And it needs to be CO2, doesn't it? It's so incredibly jank and you love it. Yes. It is jank. I guess we'll just do this for now. Yeah. Yeah, priority 9 all of this. And then priority 9 all of this as well. I do not like that we've run out of hydrogen. We've run out of hydrogen for... 10 cycles. That's not too bad, I guess. It'd be funny if you had some plugs on the second planet. Well, we don't have refined metal um, sustainably, so I wouldn't want to use plug slugs for that either. Oh, wait. Why am I doing this? 
we literally have a canister filler. We can just put a canister emptier on this. Yeah, stop building this useless gas pipe. How much of that did you already build? Amazing. Uh, empty storage. Uh, that probably doesn't need to be yellow alert, actually. Yeah, there is not a lot of power on this asteroid at all. Who's coming to do this then? User is, okay. Yeah, we do actually need some gas in here, otherwise this won't work. So, deconstruct this as well. Um, probably not this much gas, or whatever. It's not going to overpressurize it. Shoves pips into hamster wheels. That should be a thing. It should be a th I, I guess it would make the game too easy, because pips are very easy to get anyways. But it's a mod. It's a mod that exists. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a run with that one day. Right, someone can drop off the CO2. And then we can plant the tree. So we can plant the tree, and then the tree will grow, and then all the branches will snap off automatically because they'll get drowned by the liquid. I haven't played with it because it feels kind of cheesy, but I still want it because it's awesome. I feel like there's a run where we'll have to do that. Also, why are you building these mesh tiles out of different materials? Whatever. But I don't want the gases to be obstructed by anything over here, so I think that's fine. Right, so now we empty this. I guess the dreamer is going to come and do that. Aye, aye, sweet danger kitty. The alias. Okay, the gas has been released. And it's not so much gas that's going to overpressurize the tree. The Dreamer has released the gas. Repeat. Yeah, that pipe is still there. That's fine. And then I think that means I can just remove... We need to keep these tiles here. But I think we can remove everything else. So these can go. These can go. Uh, these can go back here now. These can get removed. These can get removed. Yeah, let's see how this all goes. Have we actually built the carbon oxide pipe up here? No, because you can't reach this. Okay, that's that one's on me. That's fine. <laughs> that makes this whole decision feel fairly silly. In fact, you know what? You guys like building pipes. You guys like building pipes. You can remove this. The mesh tile isn't actually doing anything. It could be a regular tile. It doesn't actually make any difference. The important part is the pips will be able to jump in between the tiles. Yeah, so remove that. Tree is growing. Okay, and then we just put the grooming station down here, grooming station down here. This loader is going to have to go here, because we can't actually connect it to this loader. In fact, I think that means I can just remove this one altogether. That's fine. You used to have a colony that was split into two parts. One was the normal stuff, the other was eight dupes locked <laughs> in it, being fed by conveyors, and they constantly run on some manual generators to make me some power. Ah, the Rimworld style of colony. I see. Yes, we're going to do Rimworld at some point. I have the game, and I have played it. And it is very fun. And I kind of intentionally don't play it that much, because it's addicting. But we will do it on stream at some point, because people have expressed interest in that. Right, so now, this room is not a room, because we need to build this tile, okay.
But yeah, the plan is Mega Aquarium resumes in May. And RimWorld after that as well. RimWorld gets ridiculously interesting with some of the mods. I think what we might do... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're going to do. After the wedding, we are going to mix it up with some more games. And after the honeymoon. But I'm not really sure how to schedule it yet. We'll have a think. Right, you've done that tile now. So this room is now 96 tiles. Okay, that's actually really good. So it's ended up being the same amount of tiles. The only thing is the pips are tra the pips aren't trapped over here. We want to trap the pips. So we want three tiles here. We want a liquid blob here to trap the pips. Oh, who's scolding? What? You're scolding because you're right here. That's very funny. You'll be fine. So we determined we can only have one pip in here. We can only have one pip in here. We need to put a regular pip branch somewhere else. Hmm. You need a kiss for your boo-boo. <laughs> Well, maybe. Maybe we can stretch to that. Here you go. Do you want to sit underneath the satellite? That sounds amusing. No. We could put you right in front of the rad bolts. That also sounds amusing. Right, this needs to set the priority five. We've still got the um, wood burner going. So what we're actually going to want to do is we're going to want to set up petroleum generators with the ethanol. That's what we actually want to do for power. I've never done that before. Maybe we need to grow more trees for that. I mean, these trees are all being eaten by pips. We actually put this. I think we just put it here for now. Yeah, he, here you go. You can have a fancy little uh, hospital bit. I don't think we'll need to use this too much. I might as well build it. For now. Pog, pog, pog. The dupe is pogging. But I think solar panels is going to be what we really want. So we've already got glass in the list. We do need to build this. Right, let's speed up again. We've still got a fair bit of time today, actually. This tree needs a while to grow. That's fine. Um, I'll put this here. Going to mutate some plants below the satellite? Probably. We were originally going to put airflow tiles here. You know what? Let's do that. Let's put some let's put some mealwoods down here and mutate them. And then rotate some other plants out. Wait. Oh, we'll just, whatever. We'll just swap all the colors out in a minute. I've definitely, I've definitely not done that right. That's fine. Yeah, you've got radiation going all the way over here. You're currently harvesting some lumber. That's fine. So let's make this priority nine. And let's wrangle what are you in here and see what you do. That should Okay, so that could be priority eight. Could be priority seven. Um, yeah, we'll just do them down in order for now. Oh no, that one's nine. Yeah. Pip is in here. So the Pip can go over here. There you go. Killer fish. <laughs> Killer fish from San Diego. Hello, gray area. I don't know what I am, but I taste really good. I'm a killer fish. Hello. I'll be your killer fish for the evening. Thank you. 
Hello there. Hello it's... there. Ah, it didn't actually cut off the hello there. That's good. Hope you're doing well. We have actually been fairly productive today. We have gotten the pit branches up and running. We have an Arbor Acorn generator. Uh, the only thing is... Oh, oh, I know what I haven't done. We need to actually put some liquid here. And we need to be very, very careful. We need to be very careful to make sure it's just a small blob. So this will do. Because if we disrupt this at all, we're going to have a huge issue. Five months of fishy vibes. Daring dupes and gosh, I'm tired. Stuff? Stuff? Stuff and things. Thank you very much for the sub. Congratulations for five months of being a fishy friend. You have access to all of the animated emotes, etc. Yes, thank you very much. I do appreciate the company a lot. I like that you guys enjoy watching me play video games. I enjoy playing them. It's nice to have company. And I think we're all learning stuff from each other. So it's all good. I really want to see how many acorns this actually generates and whether it's actually worth keeping here. I think we are just going to do another regular ranch down here, though. Obviously, I can't remove this insulated tile now. That's kind of sucky. I can remove the rest of this, though. It's just those two tiles we can't change. This better not actually remove the liquids. I don't think it will. That's currently the heat floor. It's fine. I think we'll just heat seal this instead. Yeah, because I do want six pip branches. Six normal pit branches. Because this can only have one pip in it. So we can extend this down a bit further as well. Perhaps in hindsight I should put this at the bottom. Maybe we'll swap it out eventually. I don't think we will. I don't want to do this again. This took ages. Yeah, we can replace these tiles and it's not throwing the liquids out of whack. That's good. I'm definitely not replacing those two tiles though. Fuck that. Yeah, we do need to solve this power issue. That is actually concerning. Oh right, that tree was there because that was actually going to be insulated properly. Oh, whatever. And then what about this pipe? Um... We can just do it like this. And then I think we literally just have a radiant pipe come down here. Whatever. <laughs> then you can drive all of this. Pip is still wandering around. Let's empty this. This should definitely not spill because that's the minimum mass that we've got down here as well. And we'll need to wrangle you back in here. Let's speed up again. Oh, okay, there you go. You're sorted. Provided that you actually do the thing. No. Yes. No, you can't, you can't reach it. Okay. You're going to have to remove this temporarily then. There you go. Yeah, that's... It got deleted by the CO2! Well, now what are we supposed to do? Because if we grab more liquid, it's going to explode. Uh, I guess we put it here. I don't think this will disturb anything. But we need to make sure the pip doesn't wander out of the tree zone. <laughs> Okay, no, it's fine. No, it's not fine. Uh, 
Where'd that go? It went down here. Um, yeah. Oh, why is the Pippin here? <laughs> no! We said we weren't going to reload. We really said we weren't going to reload. I, I think we can still do this, but it's going to take some excellent dexterity. Right. Okay. Right, let's think about this for a second. I mean, the pip, the pip we can move. That's not an issue. So you can go here. Okay, this is now the new uh, task. The gas isn't leaking, which is important. We have definitely tried to do too much stuff. Okay. So, the gas is going to leak out of here. That's fine. We put a mesh tile here. And we dump a very small amount of the water here. But we need to do that after we put the, the water here. Or the ethanol here. It needs to be a small amount of ethanol. So, this amount. Go here. Of course we're focusing on this while the whole base is running out of power. This is a good idea, isn't it? Right, empty this. Right, so that's there. So now I can remove this. And we can sweep up all of this. I probably don't need to yellow alert all of this. The liquid's still here. We'll do the drywall afterwards. And then we need to dump a very, very small amount of water over here. Okay. So the purpose of this is to force the limbs to drop immediately, bypassing the possible cycle for non-harvesting. Yes. So, well, the idea is... The branches uh, are destroyed automatically, so the pip keeps grooming the plant for acorns. Because the plant generates acorns when it makes a new branch. So that's why we're doing it like this. Yes. And then we're going to acquire loads of acorns and then question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. So we need a very small amount of water, which we should have somewhere. It needs, yes, here we are. Okay, so move that here. Is that going to get deleted by the carbon dioxide? I'm hoping not because it's got a bit more space. Thank you, user. If we can actually pull this off, it, it literally feels like parkour in Oni. Right. Um, that merged all the other water bottles. I should have thought about that. Okay. I'm waking up all these dupes from their errands to do this. I'm sure they're really appreciating it. Right, another one. You know what, we'll just wait until daytime. Uh, what we got? Um... I'll take another operator, that's fine. We're taking some dupes that we're going to send to the other planet. There you go. To be honest, we just need more people to run on the wheels at the moment. The, the hallmark of a good base. Oh, of course you're climbing through here because we didn't seal this off. Yeah, that would have that would have been a sensible thing to do, wouldn't it? <laughs> Pips are the troublemakers, I swear. They're always causing trouble in my runs. Wait. You're not entombed, are you? No, you teleported out of there, that's good. <laughs> okay. Move here. 
and then we'll see if this works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very sad. If it doesn't work, maybe we move the whole thing and try it again. Oh god, I should save it, but we're not going to because we're not allowed to reload. I think the water's probably just going to get deleted though. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, it worked. Okay, build this. And that only worked because there was the minimum amount of water. We've still got enough gas in here that it's not going to cause any issues. Okay. And then uh, you can replace these tiles too. Yes. We fixed it. Body temperature. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, because we've been letting this... Um, we need to let this half and half again, don't we? Okay. Alright, and now we're going to build those tiles and nothing's going to break. And nothing can go wrong. <laughs> oh no, it all went wrong. There you go. It never broke, they won't know. Yeah, exactly. Now we just need to get the temperature up again. You're, you're the premium pip. I'm renaming you. Oh, we, we don't have that mod active at the moment. Oh, that's a shame. I'll reactivate that mod. <laughs> okay. We solved, we solved the pip problem. Yes, you're too cold because we actually stopped insulating all of this. Okay, yes. I guess do this for now. Eventually, we're just going to heat up the whole asteroid, but I'm going to wait on that for a little bit. What do you mean not enough materials? Right, we did actually want to plant some mealworts up here, didn't we? Mealworts? That's a new plant that definitely exists. Yeah, maybe we'll try and do GMO AK. -OK. Like, if we actually stick on this run for a while, we'll do that. It's one of the achievements I'm never really actually motivated to get. We need Weezwood stats! Yes, very good. Uh, you can do some more of this as well. Priority 9 drywall, please. There you go. I think, I think odds are we're just going to start bringing more police watering here again. So the reason I'm using non-pit planted trees for this is just so we can fit them all in this one space in the ranches. And then, again, because only uh, the pip's only going to be able to eat from the middle bit here. Like the... Um, this is why I've only got one pip in this ranch. Alright, let's speak to it. Uh, you can remove these two now. And then we can start building the rocket. New rocket. We didn't research any engines. We still haven't done the soda fountain because we haven't got any power. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. We'll reconnect that layer. So the problem is, if we're, this is not a lot of polluted water and we have to heat it up. If we use it all to make ethanol for petroleum generators, we are going to get some of the polluted water back. I need to do actual maths on this, I think. And we need to move the ethanol generator some, uh, distiller somewhere else. I mean, it would make sense to do all the industry over here now, wouldn't it? So maybe that's what we start doing. Maybe we just put some mesh tiles up here and go to town. I think that makes sense. Who needs Matthew's feelings? Yeah. I'm a bit annoyed now because we need the power to actually do the research. Our power is mostly just dupes at the moment.
And yes, we're requiring more coal, but that coal is going to run out very quickly if we use it for power. I don't want to rely on that at all. We'll need to put a liquid lock over here, I think. Be what we do. So maybe we just do it here for now. I don't think this needs to be insulated. This will also generate some more hot polluted water to go in here. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, what can go wrong putting uh, all the petroleum generators over here with the wheeze warts? Do we even have the petroleum generator researched? No. Well, that's not going to help. And you're trapped. That's also not going to help. Um. Yeah, we're just going to have to let some of the oxygen out here for now then. There's some airflow tiles here. It'll be fine. You can get out of here. We've got to see what happens to this tree when it's fully grown. I think we just speed three it now. Yeah, look at all these ugly artifacts. I hate it. Yeah, get out of here. Um, let's also just tile this just so we don't tempt fate. There's still some brine in here from brine ice that melted. Um, that's fine. We do need the water in here for research. We can remove these ladders. That's fine. What's the temperature situation now? The issue with this is that it's not going to recirculate. We need it to recirculate to actually generate heat. So... I think we just do another two. Whatever, we'll have some spare pips. It's fine. I keep umming and ahhing about what to actually do with this bit. But I'm gonna argue we'll play through. That's fine. We're not consuming that many resources. I'm not that concerned. Let's insulate this. I can go here. There you go. We're going to have fun dumping the liquids on these bits. This one can go here. And just drain all the liquid out of there again. Then build all this. We are uh, running out of refined metal. <laughs> oh wait, what am I doing? We don't need all these auto sweepers here because the pips aren't leaving this zone. We only need it. We only need them there for the ones with the mealwoods. Okay. Um, don't worry about that then. And same for these. We do still need these ones to work though. So. There you go. Because they're the ones that are moving all the eggs out. Mm -hmm. Mm 
There you go. So you stop growing. So remove all this pipe. And then what we do is we just send this down here. We insulate this one bit. And then we lead it through here. We radiant pipe this. Lead it through here. Go up. Go around. Five radiant pipes here. And then that goes up here. And everything that's not there can be priority 8. That should solve that issue. The majestic tree! <laughs> I do like how this has turned out. It does look pretty. It doesn't look that different from the other ones, either. It's probably not going to annoy me when I look at it in future. It's always a good sign. And then this one is going to be three. And this one is going to be two. I mean, whatever. If you guys are running on the wheels a bit more than usual, at least you're getting some exercise. But yeah, you're definitely not really going to do much productively. So we're just going to wait for this to turn back on. Thankfully, the dormant period is not very long. At least this isn't losing progress when it's running. Yeah, we don't need any more food. How's the pipe building going? Looks like it's going pretty well. That's good. Yeah, remove that as well. Keeps making that noise. Whiskers is just having a search around the inlet pipe. I think she actually has that many issues with it though. She's just a bit of an explorer. Okay, is the water circulating again? It is, that's good. I should start heating this area up a bit more again. Obviously the geyser is helping to heat the area up too, but it's not a huge amount of heat. Uh, we'll need an airflow tile down here as well because of all the CO2. We will need liquid blobs in here. We will need to open up tiles. This should be fine. I think we just move the little bottles in here. We have little bottles of ethanol. Yes. So move that one here. It was obviously cleaner when we were doing it with the bottle emptiers, but um, this is fine. Then this one can go here. And then open this up. Will that work? Let's see. Thanks for the follow. Thank you very much for the follow, Kuji Argisia. Now that, that is an interesting username. Enjoy the fishy and froggy emotes. Whiskers sends their regards. Yes, it seems like a lot of people are interested in the new series at the moment. I'm interested too. This frozen forest is challenging. <laughs> Gosh, I'm late. Yes, hello. <laughs> it's all right. We're, we're probably going to be wrapping up in about 15 minutes, but all of the other episodes are on YouTube. Along with... Okay, that was all in all caps. Didn't mean to do that in all caps. Right, you've done that. That's good. Oh, it's 4am for you? That's a bit later than it is for me. It's fair enough. But yeah, we're on Frozen Forest. Um, our only power source is this hydrogen vent, which was geotuned by feeding it Abyssalite. Um, we have a lot of Abyssalite, so I don't think that's going to cause any issues. Um, we are planning on getting solar panels up. And... We're going to position those... We've researched the nearby planets. We're going to go to the Desolands and get some Drecos or oil 
for plastic and for reed fiber. That's definitely going to happen. But I think I want to prioritize solar panels and meteor harvesting because that's going to provide more power and more oxygen. We do have some good dupes though. Um, not any of these ones. I don't know. I like Liam. We kind of have enough operators as it is, though. So we're going to reject Liam. Rowan has increased his meal ice eating skill. Good to see. You come from the VODs and that's where I'm from. Nice, nice. I think I think that's what most people find me these days is from YouTube. The YouTube has been blowing up recently. We've actually, we are actually over 900 subscribers now on YouTube. And if we get to a thousand, then that means, that means I start earning money off YouTube. Which means we're going to have to update the <laughs> the fun a bit more often, which is a good problem to have. You bought only like three days ago, been through two colonies, and each of that own brand of agony. Yeah, this game is hard. That's why it's probably my favorite game. Like, it's actually hard. Like, I have over 2,000 hours in it, and I just about have a good sense of what I'm doing now, I think. We still make mistakes, but they're not super critical. Oh, shit. What the fuck happened here? This is flipped. How the fuck did this happen? Well, it's a good thing no one's been going into space because uh, we've just been dumping chlorine over here for ages, apparently. Fucking hell. Sorry, I don't mean to swear. That's really not good, though. We've got... We've got many, many uh, kilograms of oxygen here. That's going on the mistake counter. Yeesh. There we go. <laughs> my third colony has a problem. There's a steam geyser next to my bloody base. Yeah. We had the flip farters where we had to tame a steam vent, like a hot steam vent, for our initial water source. That was fun. So, what? How long have we been venting chlorine out into the map? Probably not super long. That would explain why there's all this chlorine in space. And only in space. So the main issue is... This is just going to overpressurize everything. And we have no gas pump in here. Well... I'm not going to fix that today. <laughs> That's going to be next week's problem. I'll save it over this and I'll I'll write a message. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, here we go. Have a message. So we'll write out a wire. Fix. Fix this. I mean, I'm still going to leave it running because we want the... Because uh... <laughs> we want the power. No, we don't want the power. We want the... We want the... Um... The metal ore. Oh, God. No, I don't think we do. I think we just cut this all off. <laughs> there we go. I will remember to fix this uh, next week. We were too busy preoccupied with these random liquids here. Oh, you can't even reach this, can you? Yeah, you need to... You need to... Open this mesh tile up, I guess. But I don't want to do that. Let me open this up. Oh, we're having some fun problems on this base. Right, can you actually empty this now? No, you still can't. What if you build a ladder here? The pip shouldn't be able to escape. Yeah, now grey area can open this. Fun problems are the best problems, yes indeed. Grey area has a balloon, excellent. Right, uh, now you can just do this. And then sweep this up, and then jobs are good. 
Let me paste that across. And then this can go in here as well. And then the conveyor loaders can go like... Oh, this doesn't need to be yellow with that. I mean, that should go through here. That's what this should do. And that way it's not actually going through the ranch. There you go. That can be priority nine. I mean, if you choose to not abuse game mechanics, we wouldn't have these issues, but let's put up that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so what, what actually happened here? What was the issue? I believe the issue was um, the depowered. Yeah, let's not get any more dupes until we fix this. That's all that. Oh, it's just a glitch. No? Hmm, I mean... Normally, when we don't prime this, the oxygen goes down here and the chlorine goes up here, but it's flipped. I'm not really sure why. You still have to decide what to do with your economy. One side is steam guys, the other side is 40 degrees, and nature's popsicle. Why, <laughs> why not both? <laughs> I don't know. Um, what I like to do with my hot steam beds, once I get steam turbines, um, I... What I do is you limit the number of input ports that are available in the steam turbine, and then you suck in less water per turbine, but you get the same amount of heat energy out if it's hotter steam, and you get more power out that way. I, I did a YouTube video on that as well, but that's not relevant until you get YouTube, um, until you get, um, steam turbines. Is there CO2 in the chlorine chamber? No. It's just chlorine. <laughs> you don't even know how to do temperature control yet. Please help. Um, let's see. What's a good... Uh... Flip farters. Just watching flip farters is probably a good call. Oh, there is CO2. Oh, there is carbon dioxide in here. But I don't think that would have broken that. I don't think I would have broken that on its own. Surely, because that would... Because it can't go down here. Oh. Oh, it could have caused the chlorine to go down here. You're right. That's no good. If it moves to the left. Yeah, I see what you mean. Because then the oxygen can't escape. No, then the chlorine can't escape, and it goes in here. Oh, God. That's not very good at all. Well, at least we know now. We discovered a muted seed. Okay, cool. Um, I think that means we can remove all of these. I'm just going to plant each of the different plants here, and we're going to see what we get. That's why you close it and pump out chlorine. Yeah. Most likely that CO2 appeared after, there after there was O2. I mean, possibly... Because the thing is, there, there's no O2 in the room. I don't know how someone would have come in here and br exhaled the CO2. But... Mm, Dupe loves chlorine. Well, we'll fix it. I mean, it's not like that oxygen deleted. It's just all in here now. Which is not exactly where we wanted it. Right, let's go to the end of the cycle. Just get this these rooms finished off. I want to see if the arbitrary uh, does this stuff. Do I actually just vent the rooms? No, I'm I'm literally not going to fix this. I'm going to wait until later. Oh look, we're making glass. That seems like a good use of the limited power we have. <laughs> Well, you can just build all of this. Uh, we do need to dump liquid in here. Just dump some brine in here. That's fine. If there was a CRT that broke it, then how did it break on the other side? Yes! Actually, that's a good question. That can't have been that can't have been what happened, because otherwise it would have happened on both sides. You're very correct. I was wondering how is 105C cool for my steam vent? <laughs> and then I found out it was nothing compared to the proper one. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, at least it's half the mass. All right, everyone's going on, going on break now. Uh, I think we wrap it up here. Um, maybe we... We get a shot of someone tending to this pip. Ah, here we go. Look. So, the branch is growing now. Branches are growing now, so they're drowning and they're going to keep snapping. We should start seeing the pip doing some stuff. With the tree. Yeah. Today has been about the pips. We'll speed through it and we'll get the dupes to build this conveyor. So the branches are popping out on all these sides and they're drowning, so they should snap and then the pip should keep rustling acorns. So they're snapping over and over again. It just deletes CO2 after it broke. Maybe. You too many pips that I know what to do with anymore? Yeah, we had that issue on our last run. They, um, we, we put them in a critter dropper design that we had for hatches, and that did not work, because they climbed through the doors, uh, mid, mid run. This doesn't seem like it's working properly. Well, I mean, it is, it is repeatedly breaking all the branches, but I don't understand how the pip actually gets the acorns out. Plants have died. Yeah, we know. We can get that notification a lot, I think. I have to watch the video again. But yeah, long story short, um, the mechanical um, airlocks kept um, closing on them automatically, and they got stuck in the walls, and they all died in the walls. So that was fun. Right, in any case, I don't... I know I put these here. I don't think we need these with this many dupes. And I don't think we're getting that many more dupes. So just remove these. Okay. Right. I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I'm going to have another watch of GC Fungus' video. Let's just get a shot of the pip looking confusedly at the tree. That would, that would make a good thumbnail, I think. <laughs> He's judging our works and judging us. I'm going to go pass that now too. Catch you later. Fair enough. <laughs> right, we're going to actually save it and leave. Um, we will come back to this on Monday. We will fix the rust machine and we will make sure it doesn't break again. I'm still confused about how it actually broke, but these things happen. Um, and the main plan, I think, is going to be actually Meteor Technology, I think. Sorting that out. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. It's been fun. Uh, you have all certainly kept me company, and now I'm going to go get some sleep. Uh, if you like what you've seen and you're still here from one of the many raids earlier, feel free to uh, follow on Twitch if you haven't already, and uh, you'll get notifications when I go live. Uh, 7.30 to 10.30 British time. Daylight savings has just happened again, so uh, might seem a bit different than usual. And, um, yeah. Everything gets uploaded to YouTube. Only six followers for my goal. Yeah, we're almost up to 500 followers. It's going pretty well. And we're, and we're over 500, uh, 900 subscribers on YouTube now. So close to 1,000 on that, which is a big milestone. I'm going to... Should I do the Critters tier list my 1,000 subscriber video? Maybe. Are we actually going to get all the Critters... <laughs> Are we actually going to get all the Critters to do it by then? You're going to send all my friends to follow you? Only, don't, only do that if they actually watch Oni content. Um, I'm sure you're aware of this, but like... If, if you just get random people like friends and family and stuff to follow and subscribe on Twitch and YouTube, etc. It doesn't actually benefit people because it, it's, it's then... You've got, like, dead followers and subscribers that aren't actually engaging in your channel at all. 
and it um, it doesn't actually help with the algorithm like people think it does. But if definitely, definitely bring it up with people who you think would actually be interested in watching Oni content. And other games. We do other games, but we're doing Oni only this month. Uh, but yeah, YouTube channel is here. The Discord is here. Has anyone posted anything interesting on the Discord? Um, let's see. <laughs> Recommending Pip, which is, yes, excellent. Good job. Okay. They're all big nerds. Yeah, they, pro they probably will be interested. Yeah, I mean, send them over to the YouTube channel, see if they're interested in the videos, and then go from there, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Let's... <laughs> You're making pit burgers tonight. Uh, nice. Right, okay, let's go raid someone before I, uh... Before I fall asleep. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. It, you guys are certainly helping me feel less stressed at the moment. Uh, who are we actually going to go raid? I don't know. Um, I'm going to go raid Willow Rainey. They're playing... <laughs> hold on, where's... Oh, look. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. It's Whiskers. It's Whiskers! She has found a nice comfy spot. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, this font's not going to go up in a while. I need, I'm need. i probably going to be editing this font a lot. <laughs> we'll see. Pretty baby. Yeah, exactly. You can see all my Belvitas and stuff in the background. That's why I don't normally have the camera pulled out that far. Oh! No! I spooked her! I spooked Whiskers! Was Willow, but saw you streaming only, so here I am. Well, we're gonna go raid Willow again. We're gonna go find out what Bear and Breakfast is. It looks funny. Willow Rainy. There we go. If you're not already following Willow Rainy, they, they play a lot of Oni as well. Excellent, fun streamer. Dog enthusiast. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys next week. Um, or maybe sooner on the YouTube channel, who knows. But enjoy the rest of your week. Bye for now.